Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Greedcraft. Where today, our base is a bit tidier. Uh, we're going to work on a little bit of renewable power, and we got some nether adventures in the store. Okay, so it's done. <laughs> All of my stuff is in the storage. I actually had to make a couple more drives because, yeah, we're filled up on types. But you can see these 16k drives. They're 63 of 63 types, but they're only actually about half full, so I probably shouldn't have had those ones first. Um, but yeah, come in here. Um, we can get the bigger screen. How do we get the bigger screen? Ah, oh, might just be my GUI scale. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, we've got all our stuff in here. Definitely some junk, like I don't know if I need these queen bees, I don't know if I need this coarse grindstone. But we should have enough storage that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, everything's in there. Looking good, looking good. All right, what we need to get onto, it's also midwinter as well, so there's snow everywhere. So that's cool. Looking forward to spring. Yep, if I get my food out. I actually got food in here. Not particularly. We'll grab some food and then it's time to repair our armor. Because this guy's broken, these guys are getting getting pretty down um they do have i think some modifiers left over and we do have some unbreaking uh these reinforcement modifiers now i believe but we're going to test it out um that we can't actually get completely unbreaking armor so we can see here this is reinforced 53 percent that just means we have 53 percent chance not to lose durability so we'll lose durability about half the time 80% yeah so we can only get to 80% reinforced but that's okay and these modifiers should stay with the armor as we upgrade pieces which we are going to want to do um, to get some more defense because yeah seems like that's that's going to be a thing but if we were to look at modularium it is an alloy of molten conductive iron and bronze or iron to stabilize redstone and bronze so we got plenty of iron well actually we got we got some iron plenty might be an overstatement bronze we have some and redstone we also only have some and oh we need to look in that patch of unknown here's all the stuff we got sponsors chest fragment Sponsor's chest. Thank you for supporting this mod pack. Right click dive in. Okay. Got an ender sack. That's kind of cool. An emerald chest plate. Ooh, Lumium ingots. Ooh, a drop of evil. We can make some sort of mob farm potentially. Blaze rods. Hey, climbing gloves. Kind of cool. We've got hooks though. Sailor charm. Increased boat speed while carrying. Don't really do that. Alright, and a red hook. I think we want to replace our iron hook with this red hook oh okay so we've kind of got kind of got creative flight oh yeah that's cool that'll at least be handy sometimes so with this stuff, and I think I need some lava. Let's go down to the village, and I'm going to set up a waypoint down there because it's quite a distance to to get down here. Um, ooh, hey, those have got quite a good range on them. Yeah. Oh. Wow, they got a pretty good range. Um, the village, I think, is this direction. Yeah, all I've done in between episodes is put all my stuff in the system. So there are a couple of things we need to sort out. One of them is repairing our armor. And then the next thing is probably sorting some sort of power. Because if we run out of power, uh, we're not going to be able to get any of our items out of the system. Right, so. These lava buckets. We should be able to find the tanks. Um, I guess we'll hold on to some. We may want lava for something. And oh, this thing had... Had some stuff in it. There we go. Nice. 
let's do this many and I don't know that many redstone. And just realized I probably should have grabbed um, some of my tinker stuff for down here. So let's set up this waypoint for our village tinkers. Nice. Then we can pop back here. And I can grab, I mean, we might as well set this stuff up down there. It's unlikely that I'm actually going to use it up here. Contains eight patterns, contains 15 patterns. 15 casts. So last time I remember these were all in the wrong order. So let's let's actually find my fluxor. So we kind of want crafting station, tool forge. Armor Forge, I guess. Part Builder. 15 casts is not what we want here. 15 patterns is what we want. Yep. Stencil table. And this guy can go like here. Cool. So we've ended up with some modularium, and it looks like we just want more redstone. But six ingots should be good. I mean, we can just make polishing kits. And we only need four of these because I may end up replacing some of these components. Uh, not sure yet. But modularium is going to be handy. And is there actually a way to make it with new smart IO? Hmm. No, an alloy smelter once we get to Ender IO stuff. Cool. But hey, this should let us fix. Nice. And so we'll just repair our armor. And just pouring a modularium sword blade because it turns out it actually does 6.7 like damage or base damage, however that works. And I think what we've got now only did like five or six. So yeah. Obviously there's probably other like stainless steel. That's that's quite good. Oh, that's a good mining level too. Um, stainless steel I don't think we can make easily. And if we found manganese, who knows where we're going to find that. Yeah, I probably need to do some research into what components are good, but it's fine. Oh yeah, so we're going to lose our... We're going to lose two damage from being outside the Twilight Forest. Um, so we're going from 10.5 to... Hmm. So we're actually losing a little bit of damage. We'll get slightly more durability... Gain resistance to and successfully blocking attacks. I don't know if that works for a shield, uh, for a sword. I mean, we're immune to poison. Durability would last longer. Maybe not. Maybe not modularium. We are going to put this nether quartz on here, though. It's going to buff us up. Almost two damage. Uh, it probably would be two damage if I had some more quartz, but a little bit short on the quartz side of things. So, yeah, we won't use that yet. In fact, it seems like I probably don't want to use that for that. Oh, and I can't melt the sword blade back. All right. Cool. Right, we got our armor sorted. Um, probably need to spend a level. And I think I was going for something with damage. Cool, yeah, yeah. So we can also get these skills, um, depending on the level of our attack. So you can see we can get Bloodlust, which is going to require a short regeneration effect after killing a mob. Pretty handy. Um, these ones here require other stuff as well. So Battle Spirit. Killing a monster will give you a short strength buff. We also need 16 defense and 12 agility before we could get that. But we can get Bloodlust. Um, and I might be able to buff up defense. And once we get 16 defense, we can get a chance to get resistance too after we take some damage. So that'll be pretty handy once we get there. But right, we need some power. We need some power. Because once this guy runs out, and I've just got to hop our feeding the charcoal on, once he 
feel, uh, once he runs out, um, all of these items are going to be lost. So that means, like, we couldn't get any of this stuff out. We want to sort by a number of items is how I generally like to, to sort this. So in terms of what we want to do for power, let's see what we've got unlocked. Um, actually, we could look on the quests. And we've completed... Oh, nice. Oh, we've got an Enderman inside a lasso as a reward for getting a blaze rod. We could use that in one of those tiny mob farms. It'd be kind of cool. Experience, cooked gas meat. A reward bag. What? Veer. Interesting. Let's, let's see what we get out of this. Iron ingots. A diamond. Uh, I don't know. Gold. Interesting. Interesting. Um, we'll hold on to that cooked gas meat. It does give us levitation, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, yeah. Sure. Man, it's night all the time. Alright, but in terms of power that we could go with, could do canola power. Well, I mean, can we do canola power? I don't know what's still locked. So if we got canola, so we could use forestry squeezer to make canola oil. That could be used in a compression dynamo. Cool, so we could do that. You obviously can like empower the or refine the canola oil. It looks like we could use a fractioning still to do that. So that would require a thousand RF and one bucket of that. Yes, it's definitely worth converting it. Uh, the thing that I'm worried about is I don't want to have to farm this manually. Ha, ah, and it seems like the farmer, the farmer is still locked. So it's unlocked, it's locked behind stage novice engineer. Um, I don't know if we can see how we unlock novice engineer. I mean, I would assume that it is behind the industrial age. So we don't really seem to have, I mean, we could make some solar panels. That might be enough, enough to tide us over. So let's say we wanted to make this. Let's see what we've got in terms of materials, because we just need to make sure we have enough power to power this energy acceptor. Um, so that we don't lose access. All right. And these produce two RF attack. So not great. I think it's you use three of these to make the next tier. Oh, we get one as a reward. So what's the difference here in alchemical? Ah. So we could make like a magical type. A thormic. That's interesting. I did not know that was a thing. It's like Thormcraft style solar panels. And these must be more technology style solar panels. All right, so I mean, six, uh, eight RF attacks a lot better. Let's see if we can make one of these. Well, there's one. And then we get another one as a reward. Some silver, nice. Um, okay. The next one would require one of them, Invar, and probably got this stuff too. Nice. And we get another one. And storage upgrades. Yeah, probably could make some storage drawers. So then, environmental list four. Let's just steal. Okay. Alright, so we'd need the high oven. I think we've got some steel, but probably not enough. 15. We might be able to make one of those solar panels. Let's do it. Because um, what's the power generation? 40 RF attack. That's pretty good for just sitting there generating power. Hey, solar panel 4. 
And assuming we get like another one as a reward. Nice. And a rare loot crate. Oh, more Nori crystals. Cool. So there we go. That's going to be 80 RF attack just from the sun. Which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. So. Set up these solar panels. And I guess we may as well set up like all of these solar panels that we just got. I mean, some of them are pretty minimal on the amount of power they're going to make. We got some flux ducts, flux duct that will transfer a thousand RF attack. Cool. We're probably not going to be making more than that. And we'll just go out the side here. This can be this can be our area of solar panels. And we're also going to need. I guess we'll just chuck the power down like this. So we'll set. Side of view to input. Oh. And we'll get our good solar panels for a start. They're going to be generating some power. Then this guy. And oh, this spot here probably won't work. So I guess we'll just use this solar panel. And um, we could make some more flux duct, probably. Yeah. Oh, that's the bit that won't work. Um, we just need to chop that off. Yeah, I think having power is more important. Cool. So that should keep our power topped up. Now we don't have to rely on that. And we should be able to keep accessing our items you know, for the foreseeable future. So looking at the main quest line. In terms of things that aren't locked, there's not heaps. I mean, there's this Tinker's stuff. Uh, but I don't think that leads anywhere. We do get some, like a bunch of experience. Hey, this needs mana. mana. Mini Ulilin, Ulilin, Minulu, that stuff, the purple tinker stuff. And this might be good for a sword blade as well. Eight attack, yeah, so that would be quite good. So the problem with this is Ardite Ore has a mining level of Artisan 4, so we need something that has a mining level of Artisan 4. In steel we don't have. Hey, nightly. There we go. It looks like that's what we want to make our tinkers pick out of. Cool. Um, so we may as well keep a little bit of it because we might want to repair. Repair our pickaxe head. I'm just going to assume that night metal doesn't alloy with much Um, And we we'll probably want a couple for enchantment kits. We can always go back and get some more. Yeah, we grab this night metal pickaxe head. So currently mining level apprentice, mining level artisan. And it looks like it's the same bonuses. But that's cool. And yeah, I'm not gonna make the steel leaf broadsword broad sword into the other one because we'll just wait. Although, hang on, hang on. Material cost four. Can we melt this down? Um, actually, let's melt down some more of this. Let's melt down all of it. Since we still get the Twilight Forest bonus, I think that means that we would also get the bonus damage outside the Twilight Forest. Which was the main reason I didn't want to upgrade before. Yeah, damage outside the Twilight Forest plus two. So if we're going to get that out of this stuff. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, I probably need to get like the, <laughs> the Tinker's Book and go through. Because there are a lot of, a lot of potential tool materials. Um, hey, they've added netherite. Nice. I mean, we can kind of compare the attacks and then find like find the big numbers like Shadowium. 
Looks like it's blocked. Oh, stage hard mode. Do you need stage hard mode? Does that mean you can only make that in the, like, the expert mode one? Possibly. Possibly. That's the same amount of damage. Oh. Well, it's more durability. <laughs> now Steel Leaf doesn't repair it, but that's okay. So I guess if we're going to complete this, this quest, we just need to go to the nether and mine some stuff, which should be cool. Um, kind of want to make another warp stone, actually. Another waste stone. Uh, nah, it'll be fine. There is the cobalt ore that, whoops, that we need. Nice. Yeah, I need to be careful with this pickaxe. <laughs> Tends to mine pretty fast. Cool, so I mean technically we've probably got enough cobalt to... or ardite and stuff. Ouch. Ooh, diamond ore. That's right. Zombie Pikmin are angry. I don't know why that was just a explosion, but that's cool. Hey, this looks like something. Neither read. Oh dear. Neither read. Oh, it's sugar cane. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So is this like an actual base? I don't know, it looks like it's just like a little little nether farm. Those fences are cool. Um, I guess we're gonna set off this monster box. Oh dear. Wither. Oh, it's like a champion slime. Yeah, the ones with purple flames in them, like super hard ones. Oh dear. Oh, what is shooting that? I wonder how long it is before we can get like a jetpack. Oh. Um, hey, we could make a Oh, we can't make a ring of the flying squid. All right, so that is pretty gated. I did think it might be. Oh, there's something. What's that? It's like a golden pigment statue. A respawner statue. What? They're not taking that. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Okay, yeah. Some sort of flight or gliding would be really, really handy. <laughs> but, yeah. What's making that noise? All 
Right, I think we probably have enough stuff. Definitely enough to complete the quest. Chair, yeah, the nether looks really cool. Glad these things don't make horrible noises like they used to. Eye bulb. Hmm. Ooh, what is that? And these areas are really cool. Bone wall. Oh, that's really nice. Alright, I think we're good for now. I could go take on those blazers. Uh, they're actually a little bit far away, I think. Oh, they're going to take us from over there, though. Alright, alright. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to shoot home. And we'll uh, finish up this quest. Alright, so I think all we need to do for this quest is to alloy some Manalulin. Mini, mini Ulalin. This stuff. So if we go like two and two. Because maybe we want Cobalt or Ardite. I'm not sure what the what the bonuses are for those things. And hey, let's, let's quartz up our sword. 13.6 damage. We definitely got more quartz than that though. What's that? 14.7 damage. That's pretty cool. And we'll keep some quartz because we might actually want that. What are you doing here? Trade anything good? No. Get, get out of here. Go home. So. Four ingots of Minalulin. Oh, I don't have an ingot cast. Whoops. Nice. And this should finish off that quest and unlock some stuff for us. Awesome. That's got nice. A loot crate with hmm, hard and upgrade kits. Always nice. Some more mini Ulalin. And some experience. As for what to progress, looks like we might need to read a guidebook. Which we might need to make another one because I've kind of lost. Lost where I put the guidebook. But let's make a. Actually, yeah, let's make a sword blade. Of Menelulu. This stuff. But yeah, for this to be worth it, it has to do more damage than. than the bonus damage we get. Not in the Twilight Forest. From the Twilight Forest modifier. And yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. A void charm. Saves you from falling into the void. Hmm. A rare loot bag. Go on. Something. Ooh, I don't have my... Oh, no. Oh, no, we lost it. Because I didn't have the thing in my inventory. Unity to blindness. Gold upgrade kit. Fertilized essence. Cool. Um, yeah, this needs to stay in inventory at all times. But sword blade, come on, good damage bonus. It's not great. During combat, you deal more and more damage, but also consume more and more durability. I mean, that sounds interesting. That sounds like maybe on tougher enemies would like build up our damage. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. All right, guys, we've uh, we made some progress. We've got all of our stuff. Inside the AE system, we have some solar power going, and now we have some some mini lid, mini lid, you lit, the, the purple purple tinkers or stuff from the nether. Hey, it's been classic stuff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.